Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zen Tangle teacher. Welcome to 15 Minutes of Zen. In these videos, I show you how to make one tangle using the Zen Tangle method of drawing. Today I'm using my Micron pen. This is a PN plastic nib pen, a graphite pencil for some drawing and shading, and a blending tool called a tortillon. I'm also using a two inch by two inch tile called the Bijou Tile. All of these are available at Zentangle.com or you can reach out to me on Facebook at Let's Tangle. Okay, so today's tangle is called Kalua and it is number 20 in our Inktober series. So for the month of October, I am doing a video a day for 31 days based off of a list from Stephanie Jennifer of 31 different tangles. So Kalua is one that I have not played with before and I'm really enjoying it. All right, I'm gonna flip this over. At the end of this 15 minute video, I'm going to add Kalua to a larger compilation piece where I have the first 19 tangles already on it and then we'll add Kalua to it. Okay, so this one is, I'm doing kind of a variation of it here but basically it's four little shapes that resemble like little tulips. And um, what I'm gonna do a little bit different is I'm gonna start with a circle in the center and work out from there. And if you've watched my videos before, I like to put things in kind of a grid just for the, um, you know, for the tutorial showing you how to space things out. Sometimes a grid helps me. So. I'm going to put a line with my pencil very lightly across the center and down the center. And then I'm gonna go diagonal and diagonal. That's just gonna help me line up um, these little tulip type things that I'm putting in here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to pen now. And I'm going to begin by putting in this little circle. If you don't do the circle, then you'll just go ahead and start with those shapes. So I'll put a circle right in the middle. And I'm going to add a cute little reflection. Okay, I'm going to show you on the scrap paper what shape we are making. So it is essentially a U or a curve, but then it kind of flares out on both sides and then it tucks in and in and then it has this long piece almost like a candle, like a candle flame. So you can start with the U and then just kind of curve out in, in, and that, or you could start this way. And then I like these tall candle type things, but I also like it um, with a little bit shorter one. Or I like making these go kind of deep, and then I just put in like the top of a tulip. So this is the original one, but of course you can play with it and make it what you want. Okay, so I'm going to use this first line up here as my first one. So I'm going to put in that little shape like that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that on all four sides. Looks kind of cool just like that. And again, like with this tangle, you can make these any size, any shape you want. Um, you're allowed to play around with it and make it your own. Okay, so now I go down and down. And then I'm just gonna put a nice short little petal on top, but you can do that kind of a candle one if you'd like. 
So down and down. Okay. So that is essentially the shape. And if you can imagine these kind of being longer and having those long like flames coming out, it'd be beautiful all by itself. You could also um, aura around it and that would be beautiful. What I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna add four more and I'm gonna do them a little bit larger. So I'm gonna go to my corner where I have this little line here and I'm going to put in that U again. And then I go down and down. And then put in the little top. I'm going to ink in this area below. And then I go to this one. And ink in that area. And one more. Isn't that cute? I like that one a lot. Okay, so now we can add a little bit of enhancements to it. So one idea that I saw was to make this little parts on the side that come down and then you can color those in. That's kind of cute. Um, I think on mine, I'm gonna use them more like a flower shape. So I'm gonna go up dot dot and then I'm going to go the sides a little bit go up the middle and then a line on each side and a dot that looks pretty cute Okay, so another idea that you could do is put in little orbs in between each of these areas. I don't have a lot of room, but um, I think I'm gonna try to squeeze them in just so you can see what that looks like. And you do not have to do this, but see how that kind of brings those together? So that would be cute. Like that. And another thing is that we can outline this whole thing or add an aura. So let's go ahead and do that. I love adding auras just because, I don't know, for me they're kind of tricky so it makes me slow down and really focus. But I like how it brings a whole piece together. So in Aura, we're just tracing around, but not quite touching. Okay. 
Isn't that pretty? All right, I'm going to add my initials and then we're gonna do some shading. Okay, so to shade this one, I'm just gonna do a little bit. I'm gonna do it on the bottom of each of these shapes. And I'm gonna do it right where these little crevices come in, just right above those. Let's see how this looks. Push that up into that little tulip shape, and then up in there and up in there. Look at how cute that looks. So across the bottom, and then right where those little pieces come out, I'm putting it right on the top of those. Just the tiniest bit up here, but it really adds some dimension. We always want to make sure we leave the light areas when we shade. We don't want the whole thing to be covered in graphite. Almost done. And one more, and look at how flat that one looks compared to the other ones. I'm gonna take my eraser and I'm gonna erase these grid lines on the outside. And then I'm going to put just the little tiniest shadow in there. There we go. Kalua, such a pretty tangle. Okay, now because this one has so much white background, um, I could add some graphite around the outside. Let me show you what that does. That just gives the whole piece a little bit of a shadow. It helps kind of pop it off the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just the slightest little bit of graphite. I feel like this little bit of shading just really brings each of these little patterns to life. I'm just messily, is messily a word? Just pushing this out, not doing anything specific. There, looks kind of like a snowflake. All right, so that is Kahlua. Now we get to add it to our larger piece. If you are not doing the larger piece, that is okay. You can add this to whatever you're working on. But this larger piece has been fun just to show you that any tangle, even tangles, like I'm not choosing these tangles myself, but I'm able to take each tangle and implement it into um, a current design. And I think that's such a treat to be able to learn how to do that. Okay, so there's Kalua. Our last one was Knight's Bridge up here. So I gotta figure out where I wanna put this little guy. I feel like maybe just tucking him in. Maybe I'll do one over here. It's got a lot of angles and things going on and this is a nice straight edge. So I think I'll tuck it in over there. Let me zoom in, move my candle. All 
Okay, that seems like as good of a place as any. So now I have to decide the orientation. You know, maybe I do it like that instead of like this. Hmm, I kind of like that idea. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a little grid just because I like how that helps me line things up. So I'm gonna start with I'm kind of going at an angle today. So starting with that little plus sign and then putting in the crossways. All right, I'm gonna pick up my pen. It's kind of fun adding this jagged edged one to a straight edge. We're gonna see how that works out. So I'm gonna begin with my little circle in the middle. I just like how that separates those. It's not necessary, but kind of cute. And I'll put in a little reflection in the center. If I can zoom in a little more for you guys. Okay. And then I start with these smaller outside ones. And I do that little tucking in piece on each of them. Go a little faster on the compilation piece just because we've already explained it. So this is a little bit more sped up, but hopefully you can, hopefully you can follow along okay. And then I put in these little caps. And then I like to add the bigger ones in the corners. So to do that, I can start with this U shape if it's easiest. And then go out. one over here. Add on those little tops. It lined up pretty well with that. I'm going to ink in those extra areas underneath. And I forgot about leaving room for these little orbs. So look, I have, I just have kind of a strange little, I've got like a spot there, but not there. Since it's not even, I'm not going to add those orbs right now. I'm trying to think of a different way that I could add them. Hmm, maybe what I'll do is instead of tucking them in those little areas, Maybe I'll just put like a larger one in between. I don't know, what do you think? I'm just gonna do that because that's sort of the space that I had. And then I'm going to ink in that area underneath again. It's also nice to do variations on these compilation pieces. So now you get a different way to do it. Not on purpose. Just how it worked. Oh, that's pretty cute.
Okay, so now I think I'm going to go ahead and aura like I did to that one. It's a lot of little spots to aura, but it really brings it together. That looks good. And then I can add some decorations in the middle and I like the straight line up with the two dots and one on each side with one dot. Just gives it some texture. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now I have this situation here where this, you know, matches up nicely, but I've got these little spaces. I'm gonna ink those in. And then right here, I've got a larger space and I think I'm just gonna leave it for right now and just see what happens, you know, see what, what I put in there next. So. Just gonna leave it I'll probably end up inking it in but for now I'll leave it okay I'm gonna put on the top I take my eraser and get some of those grid lines out of there and we'll do some shading so I'm shading each piece this year um, just because it's a lot to try to go back and add the shading later so if you're a shader Maybe this is what you like to do, maybe not. So I'm adding it to the bottom of each of those little petal shapes. And then I can push it up into that shape. And then I like putting a little bit above little tucked in areas push those up just the tiniest bit And then I am going to go ahead right now and put graphite around the whole thing because whatever I have bumping into this later, I feel like I'm going to want this shadow in place. So let's just put that in right now so we don't forget. You just want to make sure that your pencil line is right against the edge. Let me show you. If I go like that and I leave that space, our eye is drawn to that space. We don't want that, so we really want to make sure that's right tight up against there. And I can just soften that the slightest bit and push it out and away from that shape. going to add some right along this edge right here. Gives a little shadow leaning up against that. Okay, so that was day 20. So we still have 11. Yep, that was day 20. We still have 11 more to fit in here. If you are doing a compilation like I am, don't panic if you're running out of room. There we go. 
If you're running out of room, then you can make some a little bit smaller. If you've got a lot of space left, then you might want to start making them larger. But what I plan on doing at the end is if I've got any extra spaces, I'll put in some of these little dark busters or I'll put in some orbs. Um, so I'm not too worried about having extra space. And if you're an out of space, that's okay too. No one's going to notice that you don't have your last day or two of tangles on here. So it's all right. But I'm excited with how it's turning out. I like that we put this kind of at an angle. It's going to blend in nicely with the rest of our tangles we have. And um, I'm so excited. So we'll see you tomorrow for day 21. Thank you so much for following along. Bye-bye.